Hi everyone, welcome to Sense with Singh. Today we are going to talk about Crystal Saffron, the latest release by Mattia Premier. So let's start. And so Mattia Premier is a house that does not require much of an introduction anymore. Uh, they have some amazing releases uh, and this is the latest one, Crystal Saffron. Thanks to the brand for sending this across all the way from France and uh, sticking to uh, their concept of one central ingredient and then other notes to amplify the facets of that ingredient. Uh, this is a saffron centered fragrance. The saffron used in here is from Greece. Uh, the Greece is uh, Greece has a red saffron uh, mostly and uh, it says here from the Kazani region, Kozani region, I don't know the specifics of that, but the Greek, uh, Greek saffron is, uh, you know, a rich deep saffron as you can see here and uh, it's known for its richness of flavor. It's a red saffron, the typology that Greece has, it's rich in flavor, rich in aroma as well. So what they've done here is... So they've taken that Greek saffron and they have added musk, the habanolite musk I think. Uh, then they have uh, ambroxan in there and Somalian incense. That's it. These four notes with saffron. These three notes with saffron. Okay, so yes, it is very true to its name. Crystal saffron, uh, when you first sniff it, you do get that diffusive sweet uh, airy texture of the scent uh, I find the musk to be a little more prevalent uh, than the other notes in the beginning but uh, once you get those few minutes you get past those few minutes you start to get that rich deep saffron it is more of a uh, just like a vetiver the Indian vetiver and the Haitian vetiver the Haitian vetiver has a more clean sweet white to it and so is the case here as well uh, this saffron is to me this is a clean sweet saffron and the musk enhances its, its sweetness very nicely a little too nicely uh, in my opinion but you know the first couple of minutes of some sense can be tricky and this one is like that just get past those few minutes and you start to get that saffron which is rich has a soft just, uh, you know, just a textural concentrated sweetness that comes across as the bitterness of saffron. But it, it you, it's, it's, you know, rounded on the edges. It's very smooth, it's very clean, and it does not become too strong pungent. Uh, so that's a very good use of saffron in here. The Ambroxan gives it a slight woody sweetness, which I find is, uh, you know giving a good base to the scent to kind of keep going and the woody sweetness enhances the sweetness very nicely of the saffron so what the musk does musk gives it a more of a creamy sweetness whereas the ambroxan gives a hint of a volume and a woodiness to it now the entire volume of the scent comes from the uh, the somalian incense uh you can feel uh that's uh, you know that slight tangy tinge of that incense when you first sniff it uh, without burning you sniff it and you kind of get that from the incense like that and when the resinous uh, character comes in uh, with that saffron so all in all this is a good blend this is a very good blend uh, let me rephrase that so or let me make it more concise so this rich sweet saffron in the middle is being enhanced by a white musk uh ambroxan and ambroxan and somalian incense so overall this scent is sweet this is voluminous uh this is that slight bit of uh, balsamic feel to it as well woodiness uh amazing all that with the central saffron is just beautiful. I love this scent. Uh, 
wasn't love at first sniff, but as I wore it, I enjoyed it. Uh, you can say you can get easily eight to ten hours from it on your skin. This uh, the musk gives it a lot. The musk and rocks and they give it a lot of projection. Uh, it, it really goes away from you. The sillage is amazing. The saffron in the sillage is just amazing. You can you know you can enter and own the room with your scent completely. So I, I really like it. Uh, I think this is a good release, and not only for the summers, because there are some saffron scented scents that are not suitable for the summers. But this one right here, I can wear it throughout the year. I recommend it throughout the year. Talking about uh, its character, feminine or uh, masculine, definitely unisex. Uh, I don't see it to be too sweet to be feminine or too woody to be. Uh, masculine. This is a perfect balance, uh, and uh, you can just wear it anywhere you want. I, I can see this to be worn casually if you like saffron scents, because uh, the evening you get it does have a more refinement to it. I would, uh, I don't stick to occasions much <laughs> with scents, but this one I think you can wear it anywhere throughout the year. Definitely a bang for the buck because. Uh, the projection, the performance of this, along with the fragrance quality and the fragrance creativity, is just amazing. Uh, Matteo Premier is available with Sentido. I'll leave the link of Sentido in the description. Uh, they are the authorized distributors of it in India. Uh, I don't know if they carry this one and the other new releases as as yet with them, but if you can, definitely check this out. Crystal Saffron is my recommendation. A uh, beast of a performer, very elegant, uh, very refined, as I said, in its character and year round performer. Well, what more can you ask from a scent? So, yeah, that was my quick review of Crystal Saffron. I'm really enjoying this scent and I hope you get to try it and you get to enjoy it as well. Once again, thanks for, to the brand uh, for always making the effort to make me a part of their new releases. And uh, with that, I conclude my review of Crystal Saffron and there are more reviews following after this one. So stay tuned for those and until then, enjoy yourself and have a good time. Thank you.